is big for Bantamweight. Five foot nine inches tall. That's three inches taller than Guido Canetti. And he will enjoy a five inch reach advantage on the fighter from Argentina. Getting us started on FS1 inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from Scott Trade Center in St. Louis, Missouri, for UFC Fight Night, Stevens versus Troy. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a striker holding a professional record, seven wins, three losses. He stands. Five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Antonio de Padua, Buenos Aires, Argentina, Guido Ninja Canetti! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record, 13 wins, 7 losses, 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 135 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Young Ho, Mr. Perfect Kong! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark Rossum. Mark Wasson will call the action here in our first bout on the FS1 UFC Fight Night prelims and the lovely Vanessa joining us as well. There's a buzz in the building, Paul. Octagon in St. Louis for the first time. It was full. It is completely full in here right now. Good it's crowd as they touch gloves. Guido Canetti in the blue. Kyung Ho Kong in the red. Yep, let's see if they do some of these things I think they should be doing. I know Kong is definitely want to use that reach. He's long. He's long for any weight class. I mean, 73 inch reach is insane for a bantamweight. There's your kickboxing background from Guido Canetti, meanwhile. Yeah, he's got to let it rip. He can't be uh, uh, attentive. He needs to get in there. He wants to be patient, like he said, but he needs to be powerful with it. He needs to sting Kong early and let him know that he means business. Kong very relaxed. He always looks this way. He's a, he's a cool customer in there, man. Guido Canetti, of course, training in South America, but doing a lot of training up at Team Alpha Male as well. Oh, nice. So you can't put into words what training at Team Alpha Male, a camp like that, has done for him. Hasn't fought since August of 2015. It was a win, so he'll look to make it back-to-back, -back, albeit with a long layoff in between. One of the things I worry about for Guido's, his left hand is very low right now, and he's leaning and kind of dipping off to his left. And if Tom starts to look to set up that right head kick, that's a bad, ooh, but he goes with his own, and he, there we go. That's what I want to see from Guido, big punches. Big, oh, big left from Guido Canetti. And there we go, and, he it. It. and it's Kong who's trying to take it down to the ground. Wow, beautiful reversal there from, from Guido. And a lot of that, I think, is because Kong was still a little rocked when he went for that takedown. Among the biggest underdogs on the card tonight is Guido Canetti at plus 250. And maybe that made him mad. He said, I'm going to come in here and prove them wrong. Because that was some beautiful striking early. Rocked Kong. And he went for that takedown, shucked it off like it was nothing. Got the underhook and threw him by the wayside. He said, I have not stopped training for one moment since my last appearance. So you could say long layoff all you want, but yeah, maybe he might the just, volume turned up. Might just be improving while he's away from that time. Too. Some guys need that. Need take a step back and in those breaks, learn, get better. Go to Team Alpha now. Switch your training up. Of course, worth noting that 2014 was the last time Kyung Ho Kong was inside the octagon. Yeah, we'll see that affects these guys. Required voluntary service in South Korea for Kong. So yeah, that's a set of circumstances. Left kick almost caught by Kong. That's a mark under the right eye of the South Korean. Yeah, he had a big left hand. Nice inside kick there from Kennedy. Big wheel kick there from Kennedy. Man, he, uh, he was fast with that spinning hook kick. <laughs> that seemed to accelerate. Now he's on his bike. He's completely out of range. Staying away from that long reach and the long legs of Khan. And then when he's in, he's all the way in. He's very aggressive and he's throwing big punches. Looking for his own take down there. Big knee to the body. Tries the trip, Kong able to defend, but oh, oh he eats a couple of laps, and Kennedy now moving in. Knees, knees, knees. Man, 
Nettie is aggressive. This is one of the fights I was talking about leading up to this. I said, this, this fight could end up being a scrap and a fight of the night for these two guys. They both throw down. Tom trying to get see him, take a big breath. He's trying to get his wits back about him. He's got to dial in and try to get focused. He's a little frustrated right now. Patient approach for Kong, but that's dangerous when Kennedy can attack as quick as he's shown. Under 90 seconds to go, first round. And what I like from Kennedy in this first round is I needed him to be aggressive in his keys to victory. That's what I thought he needed to do. But I also have seen him in his other fights get too aggressive and get sloppy, and he's got caught doing that. And we're not seeing that from him right now. Knee and a takedown there from Kyung Ho Kong, who assumes top control here. And he's a, a large bantamweight. He's going to lay on him, but he's only got a minute of work to do here in a round that has clearly been going Kennedy's way. He needs to break this lock, get those overhooks off, and start landing punches. Two taps on the top of the head there from Kennedy before <laughs> ref let him go ahead. Let's in. Careful now. Let's keep it clean. Posture stop just misses with the right elbow to calm. Be a dent there. And Kennedy trying to slip out the back oh, door. He's got, he got a He's got 30 seconds to squeeze on this. Wow, Big look slip. at the strength from Kennedy, and now it's Kong airborne wow. trying to hang on to this triangle. Kennedy showing some intelligence and strength there, picking Kong up, putting him up against the fence, but it might be in tight. 15 seconds left. Can Kong finish this? Trying to pull on the head. Just like that, Kyoho Kong walks up the triangle and for his first time since 2014, he's back inside the octagon and he's a winner once again. Wow. Faced adversity, got rocked early, got the fight to the map where we talked about, I thought he was going to have an advantage. And he gets a beautiful triangle. Kennedy looking very good in this fight up until he got caught in that trap. Wow, what a performance there from Kyung Ho Kong. Our move of the fight is sponsored by Metro PCS, bringing you closer than ever to the UFC, putting knockout coverage in your hands by covering 99% of people in the U.S. Yeah, the beautiful thing about that from Kong is he was setting that up from the top position. Now. A slam might have been better off for Kennedy there than putting him up against the fence that allowed him to still keep squeezing. So he's losing blood to the brain a little bit here the whole time, slowly, slowly just squeezing. And Kennedy eventually had to give in and tap out to that triangle choke. Nice job from Kyung Ho Kong. Nearly saved by the bell was Guido Kennedy, but he could not quite make it those final few seconds. And he taps. Kyung Ho Kong is your winner. When we come back to St. Louis, we make things official. Official decision, we send it in to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Rossum has called a stop at this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds at the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a triangle choke, Kyung Ho, Mr. Perfect Kong! I'm here with your winner. Mr. Perfect, Chung Ho Kong. Impressive performance, man. It's been two years after your service. How does it feel to come back here into the octagon and get that win? 자, 2년 동안의 군대 위에 처음에 시작하셨는데 어, 처음 소감을 말해주세요. 어, 이 옥타운 떠나 있는 동안 여기 너무 돌아오고 싶었고 어, 오랜만에 경기라서 처음에 잘 풀리지 않았는데 지금 이기고 나니까 너무 행복합니다. Uh, I wanted to be back to octagon so bad. Now I'm so happy to back to octagon. Yeah, you know, and again, you had a beautiful triangle. We're going to take a look at that, this third in your career. I just want you to talk me through what was going on in that transition from the top into the triangle there. Uh, uh, high the triangle lock on, had a good, good pressure, but I was kind of worried because there was a short amount of time, but I'm so happy because I got, I finished him. Yeah, you showed a good squeeze there. Three in a row for you, back into the octagon. Congratulations, your winner, Kyung Ho Kong, ladies and gentlemen. Congra congratulations to Kyung Ho Kong, improves to 14 and 7 after more than three years outside the octagon, two years served in the military.